What is up everybody? Here is my review for Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton is a film that resonates deeply to me because I grew up right next to Compton and I've been to Compton a lot of times and know how shit goes down there. Slide or bio Straight out of Compton was basically about three of the main NWA rappers. Ice Cube, played by Ice Cube's son by the way, Easy e and Dr. Dre as they rose to fame and controversy due to their lyrics. Growing up around that area during this period, this film really does highlight how assholes the police were during that period. And it was a running theme throughout the film that the cops are just really fucking brutal assholes. This review is gonna be full of spoilers, so stay tuned. Great scene of the certain city's police department telling the rappers not to do fuck the police, but they went on and did it anyways with that little bit of tension with the cops in the crowd and the rappers like, are you gonna do this? But to me, the film really slowed down in the last half of the movie compared to the first half of the movie where they're doing all this controversy against the police and their rise to fame and their hunger to spread their message out about the hood. But to me, the film really slowed down in the last half of the movie compared to the first half of the movie where they're doing all this controversy against the police and their rise to fame and their hunger to spread their message out about the hood or their hood. There are other actors who deliver great performances, such as Paul Giamatti being Jerry Heller. He really fucking brought it to this role. He really made Jerry Heller sympathetic in a way, but also somebody you really don't like because he was the guy that was screwing the NWA members out of their money. A great performance goes to Jason Mitchell. I haven't heard much about this dude, but he did a tremendous job being Easy e growing from a drug hustler into a music mogul and covering up the fact that he was having AIDS. He didn't specifically tell us that Easy e had HIV, but Jason tried to play hard like he ain't sick, but you can tell like he had HIV in his system, which Jason Mitchell played very well. And another great performance goes to O'Shea Jackson Jr., who is Ice Cube's son. Have you ever seen that in a movie before? Like, the son playing his dad in the film? I mean, it really brought authenticity to Ice Cube, and he played the role really well. And the other two members of NWA, MC Ren and DJ Yella wasn't featured that much in the film. They were like side characters, minor side characters, but DJ Yella was pretty funny in a lot of scenes. You also see, get to see a few cameos from Tupac and Snoop with the actors looking jack shit like them. <laughs> but I hope there will be a movie about Death Row Records soon, at least in my lifetime. Come on, Dr. Trey. We gotta see what really went down at Death Row Records. But yeah, I for sure give this film a go. Go see this movie. It is really good. But the thing is, it really slows down in the last half hour. If you take on this video, leave a comment below. Give me a like if you feel I'm saying it. Dislike if you don't feel I'm saying it. Please subscribe. Out.